Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show, and it's time to talk trash. This is part two of the August empties, and this still does not empty my emptying bins, so you're gonna see a lot of these. I don't know how I got backed up, but I did. I'm starting today with makeup, and since I am doing the makeup first, I'm gonna put a pair of glasses on so that I can actually read um, what's coming. These are my new glasses. Got these from Lang Optical in Halifax, my favorite eye place ever. Uh, first thing up, Bobbi Brown Bronzer Brush. I love Bobbi Brown brushes. The reason I'm throwing this out is it is shedding like crazy and I'm just tired of picking brush hairs off my face and chest. I love Bobbi Brown brushes so I think that was an anomaly so I won't buy that one again but that's not turning me off of buying them in general. Uh, I can't even, I don't even know where the end of this is. This was a Sigma uh, small tapered blending brush and as you can see the top of it the actual brush part came right off of it. Hate Sigma brushes. You'll see them because I used to buy a lot of them. Oh, there's, there's, the, there's the top of it there. But as they fall apart, I'm just getting rid of them and not getting them back. Sad to see the end of this. 18 years ago when Denise and I met, Denise bought me this. It is Dior Kiss. It was when Dior Show Mascara very first came out. And she went to the bay to buy me some things for our first Christmas together. And this they don't even make anymore. It was number 228 Fruit Splash Gloss. And it's just a super glittery gloss. And since it was in a squeeze tube, I kept it for a long time. And I used lots of it, but it was a huge tube. Finally, I'm departed. Beauty Blender, I change these out every three months. This was the flesh colored one that's going. This is a waste of money. This is the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan 10 Minute Tan. So you're supposed to be able to wash it off after 10 minutes. It doesn't really do much at all. Stick with what you know. Reason for the glasses so I can read the names on these. Uh, you know, two Christmases ago I bought that big long Clinique chubby stick sampler kit. In fact, the box for it you're going to see here shortly. It's in this empties. I used up three from it. This one was the intense version in Broadest Berry. This was also the intense version in Plumped Up Poppy. And this was the regular version. So the regular ones just look like a, a bomb, right? They just leave a little wash of color. The intense, it's almost like lipstick. This one was in the color Whoppin' Watermelon. And this is what they came in. So there's a picture on the back, you can see, of all of them. And they were all nestled in here nicely. And I think I have about five or six left. So this has been two years using this. And uh, I loved it. I, I just really enjoyed it. And I, like I said, I only have five or six left. So I'm finally getting rid of this because I don't have room for it. This is a little face cream that I sampled. This is the Shiseido Benefiance um, Wrinkle Resist 24 Night Cream. Beautiful. I mean, Shiseido skincare in general is gorgeous. This is one you've seen often. It's a sample size of the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum, one of my favorite serum. My new favorite mascara. I love this thing. This is Monsieur Big by Lancome. I actually have a waterproof version of it going right now. I will say this. I don't like the waterproof only because it's wonderful. It looks the same as this one. It works the same as this one. But my lord, it will take you a week to get that off. Uh, it's just... It definitely though if you're going to a pool party or you're gonna be at a wedding or a funeral where you know you're crying hey your mascara is not gonna move when you use the waterproof Monsieur Big but whoa getting it off is not easy got a few mascaras in here because this is an accumulation from months I actually went down to the bottom of the bag to get some of the older products out this is the bad gal bang mascara from benefit which I didn't care for in terms of the array of Benefit mascaras, it wouldn't be one of my favorites. This isn't bad. This is the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. Let's see, it's got a thing like that. If you want like some volume but not that clumpiness, this is great for that. So it does, it doesn't give you a lot of length. It gives you nice volume but not the clump that a Monsieur Big or a um, better than sex would give you so it's a nice I'd say respectable mascara, but if you're looking for length This is not your huckleberry 
this is okay. I've had a few samples of this. It's the uh, Burberry mascara with the hourglass wand. It's a nice, simple, kind of a no makeup makeup day mascara that I could wear, but it doesn't really give you big buildup of anything. This is a favorite product. This is probably my, I want to say maybe second or third time that I have emptied one of these. And you know with makeup products, when you empty them, they got to be good. It's the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel-A. And it's in the color Pink Escape. That's the only color I've ever had of this. It is like a pink jelly in a pot. Reminds me very much of the Bonnie Bell La cheek stain that used to be around in the late 70s, early 80s. It was like, I don't know, two bucks, three bucks at the drugstore. And it just came in a little tube and you'd squeeze it out. And it worked very much like Benetint did. Well, that, but the color it gave reminds me a lot of this. So I already have another one of these on the go. Love it. A face razor. Yes, menopause has given me fur on my face. My mother had fur, which I always thought was so nice. It was, you could only see it when you're up close. It was white. Um, but my mother didn't wear makeup, so it looked fine on her. When you put foundation over fur, not so much. So about every three weeks, I shave my face and I do it with one of these, which I buy at Sephora. Itty bitty fake beauty blender that I use for under my eyes. There's another mascara. There's a good one. That's the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And in terms of Benefit mascaras, that's a winner. I've got two of these uh, Michael Kors uh, black eyeliners. It's just, yeah, this is right down to the nib. It's the gel eyeliners. I love them. These are two sample size I got in kits. Use them up because I use, although I'm not wearing it today, I put black on my waterline most days. I wear black eyeliner on my upper lash line most days, so I go through these like crazy. There's a sample of a beautiful product that is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Really, really nice primer. This is a great lip balm. I tried this for the first time. I'm getting into more and more Clarence products because I'm on a real French kick. I'm obsessed with French women. I follow a bazillion French women on Instagram right now. As you can see, I'm wearing a blue and white striped shirt. Um, which is a very French kind of thing. I've been trying to practice my own French. Uh, je suis, uh, je, je parle un petit peu, mais je ne sais, je n'ai pas, no. Je suis tu Je ne suis pas bilingue, mais je parle Jacquard French, so. That should tell you what I'm what I'm trying to say. I'm working on it. Trying a lot of uh, Clarence products, and this one I really love. It's the Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm with Essential Rose. Um, it's a really, really lovely lip balm. This was a sample I got of Origins Original Skin Cleansing Makeup Removing Jelly. It's nice, but there are so many cleansing bombs I would put ahead of it. Another mascara. This is a little baby uh, false lashes extreme black mascara by Mac. It's a nice mascara. It's not bad. You know, I find that it dries out quickly and then you don't get that nice slick black look, but, but it is a nice mascara An itsy bitsy mask. This is the glam glow. Thirsty Mud Hydration Treatment, which is an overnight mask that you sleep in, um, and it really does moisturize. I love this thing. And I got dirt all over this. I'm going to get Denise to get me a wet one. This is a sample of the Benefit Posy Tint, Cheek Tint, and um, I've never met a Benefit tint that I didn't love. I have this in full size. That was one thing when I, as I'm doing the declutter, um, if I had duplicates, I let go of the duplicates of the tints but I still made sure I kept at least one of every tint. Uh, this is just a no-name brand brow brush, and it's just old as the hills, and I'm letting it go. This is the Lancome Lash Primer. Again, I've said this before, as lash primers go, it's a nice one, but I really can't be faffing around with lash primers. This is a tiny little Murad. Um, I got it as a, as a sample. It's an under eye treatment. It comes with these little like tissue pads and you pump a bunch of this stuff on and then put the pad on and let it sit for 15 minutes and it really firms up the under eye area and if you're about to go out and you're a little puffy and you do it you really can't see the difference so very nice product 
I don't know where the lid to this has gone, but you know the empty bucket has been getting beat around. It's a tiny little buxom lipstick. Let me put my glasses on. Um, it's in the color Menace, and it was a real, like, kind of a magenta pink. It reminded me of Up the Amp by MAC. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's the Eve Pearl um, Under Eye Concealer. You probably, uh, I think it's completely empty. I don't think you can even... Oh, you can see a little bit. It's that real salmony pink Under Eye Concealer. I bought this off the Makeup Geek site when I first discovered beauty videos on YouTube, so... We were living in our house on Gladstone Street in Halifax. Oh God, that's got to be that's got to be seven years ago, I guess. How long ago we were living on Gladstone? Oh, eight. Eight years. It's got to be about eight years ago. Anyway, I loved it. It really cancels out the blue of under eye bag. Lippies here. Again, so many of these things are not uh, new to you. Obviously, three Carmex. We love these. Two Burt's Bees, another favorite one. In, actually, both of them in the flavor Strawberry, which is a fairly new flavor that I really love. It's clear, it's not tinted, but it just has a lovely strawberry smell. One of these Tone It Up lip balms uh, that I think are made by Soft Lips. Really nice. And this is the Sleep Plus Pillow Spray from This Works. Just a lavender smelling spray that I like to spray on my pillow at night. I don't know if it actually helps me sleep or not, but I will try anything. I have a ton of stinkies. I've been trying to go through a bunch of my minis and a bunch of my testers. I'm going to put my glasses on for this because these are small little containers. This is the Balenciaga um, Paris perfume in the color Rosa Botanica. And this was the most beautiful mini bottle. It has little flowers and just gorgeous. It's a really pretty scent. I'm not sure I would rush out to buy it in full size, but it definitely had a nice floral scent to it. This I already bought in full size. This is the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine Cologne Absolute. Beautiful. There's a larger sample of the Orange Sanguine by Atelier. Love it. This one's always a challenge for me. What a beautiful bottle, the mini. It's the Versace Bright Crystal perfume. And here's the challenge. This is the one that's pink. Um, I love how it smells on me. Denise doesn't care for it on me. So anytime there's a, a small one, I'll grab it so that I can wear it for a couple of days. But I haven't bought the full size just because it doesn't really turn her on. And I like to turn my baby on. This is Basil and Neroli from Jo Malone. Gorgeous. Never met a Jill Malone I didn't love. I got three samples of the Mont Guerlain by Guerlain. This is a beautiful scent. Guerlain is another house where I love all their perfume and I actually have this in full size. It's really nice. This was a sample I was thrilled. Not a sample. It was like a mini that, that I bought at Sephora and I was thrilled that it was a spray instead of a rollerball because most of the ones this size are rollerballs and I really prefer a spray to really get a sense of whether I want to buy something full size. I'm glad that I bought this first because it's called Sun Saint, Sun Saint Eau de Parfum, and um, I didn't really care for it. So I'm really glad I didn't splash out for the full size bottle and tried this first. It is a summer scent, it just didn't smell great on me. You saw a couple of these last time, and I went through two more of them this time. It's the Atelier Cologne Clementine California. I have this in full size. I absolutely love this scent. I was actually thinking maybe it's time for me to do a perfume collection video. I haven't done that video in probably three or four years. And as I recall, that was a very popular video. So let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing my current perfume collection. This is two deluxe samples of the Kat Von D Saint perfume, which you know I absolutely love. But if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see that right now I am rocking Sinner. This is Book uh, by Commodity. I'm actually burning a Commodity candle right now. And I love some of their scents. And when I saw there was one called Book, I was like, oh, I'm going to love it. I didn't love it. But here's the thing. This is a very old sample, so I don't know if maybe 
this went off. So the next time I find myself in Sephora, I'm going to give this a sniff uh, just to see if it really is not great. There's another one of the Mall Girl Lance sample. I have a couple of the MAC perfume samples and I have all of these in full size. Uh, this one is Creme de Nude and this one is Velvet Teddy. I love them both. Velvet Teddy is very sexy. And these came out at MAC. I think they're doing away with them now, but you could buy the lipstick and the perfume to match. Um, and I got all of them. And again, I think they're doing away with all of them except for Oceanic. Uh, but love, love, love these. This is a nice deluxe sample of Elizabeth and James Nirvana French Grey. Oh, so beautiful. Those women know how to make perfume. And this is the deluxe sample of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Amethyst. Also beautiful. This is a sample of Tom Ford uh, Soleil Blanc. And this is what I wore all summer. Or a lot of the summer. I wore it and Bronze Goddess this summer. Um, this is the Clean scent. It, one of their reserves in the scent Blonde Rose. And it was pretty typical Clean uh, scent. Although the reserve scents by Clean, I find are they have a little bit more punch. Don't get me wrong, I love the smell of those Clean scents, but they're not something I'm necessarily going to wear if I'm going out at night. Their reserve line has a little bit more punch. Some body products. Uh, you've seen this before. Denise loves her Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. This is the massage lotion for stretch marks. She loves it. This we won't buy again. This was actually too thick, but she used it up on her feet. It was the Cocoa Butter Formula. Uh, softens, smooths, 24-hour moisture with vitamin E, like just a big pot of very thick shea butter. These we use on our hands. It's from Bath & Body Works. This is the Sweet Magnolia and Clementine 24 Ultra Shea Body Cream. These smell so good and they're so pretty. We always have one sitting around the living room that usually um, matches with the season. I keep looking there because that's where the current one is. The current one is Island White Sand. So we, we always grab a few of these that match the season. Uh, very nice. This is a beloved product by me. This is Biotherms After Sun Oleothermal Milk. It is, it is really, a, oh, <laughs> fucking stuff all over the place. It really is a milk. So if, you know, when you first spurt it into your hand, you're like, oh, because it's not like a lotion. Like if you did this, it's just going to run off. Um, but it is, it smells beautiful and it is so moisturizing. Like it's not thick, right? It drinks into your skin super fast, but yet it moisturizes and it moisturizes for a long period of time. And I always go between this and then they have a pot. The pot is a bit thicker, but what I love about the pot is it has sparkles. You've seen it before. In fact, this is the only summer that I have not used a pot of the sparkly stuff and that's only because I was on the no buy and I'm trying to use up all the body products I have. But yeah, this Biotherm After Sun, it's not just for summer. Really use it any time of the year, but I particularly love the smell in the summer. And came to the end of this. There's a little bit left in the bottom, but I'm letting it go. It's the Kerastase Paris K Lac Noir Extra Strong Hold. So I love a lot of Kerastase products and I did enjoy this, but here's the thing. I bought this when I had my really long hair. So most of my adult life I've had really long hair, sometimes with bangs, sometimes without. Light layers, but not very much. It really just looks long in one length. And this strong hold was great for that. Like if I'd want to like style it a certain way and get it to hold, it was lovely. Now that I have this short shag where there are like, see there are like a million like really short layers. This is very sticky, like not sticky, but like stiff. And on this short hair, I don't like the way it feels. And I don't like, I put it on today, then I sleep on it. And when I wake up in the morning, my hair is rock hard and it's stuck up. And so there's, again, there's only a couple days spray left at it, but I'm letting it go. This, you know, these empties are from way back because I haven't used this product in a long time. And this is the old packaging of it, but it's the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment. This was a bottle of hair oil that I used a long, long time ago and finished it about a year ago. So again, we're trying to get to the bottom of these empties bags. I loved it when it came out because it was the first hair oil I had ever been exposed to. But now there are so many new hair oils that I really love and use uh, and probably would not go back to this. 
This is just a really nice drugstore product. Um, super cheap. It's the Dove Shower Gel Purely Pampering. Uh, softer, smoother skin after just one shower. And this one was shea butter with warm vanilla. And it had a little bit of a nutmeg smell to it. Beautiful smell. Soaps up if you're someone who likes a real soapy, sudsy shower. This is the one for you and super affordable. Denise loves this stuff. This is the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Fresh Toner. It is an alcohol-free toner that I pour into a spray bottle for her. And she uses it out of the spray bottle. Really, really nice. Two travel underarm deodorant sticks. These are both the Dove Go Fresh. And I've got a few hair products to share. This is the Dry Bar, the dry bar Triple Sec 3-in-1. It is sort of like... Um, a texturizing spray, a light, light dry shampoo. Um, what do they say technically? It texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. And I'd say it does exactly that. It gives your hair a nice smell. It's not as strong as a, as a dry shampoo, but it will give you a little bit of oomph. And I enjoy it. I have it in full size. You've seen this a million times. It's my favorite shampoo. It's uh, by Alterna. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Moisture Shampoo love it this is a new love i have this in full size it is the briogeo be gentle be kind uh, this is a sample of the conditioner but i bought the shampoo and conditioner in full size i can't wait for you to see the empties because it looks just like you know when you buy juice like green juice it's they're always in those square bottles it's in a bottle just like that sephora is on this big kick of like clean products and it's one of those clean products. I have to be honest, the reason I bought it is because it said, be gentle, be kind. And be kind is my motto, so um, I bought it for that reason. <laughs> but once I got it, I really, really like it. It's nice and mild, uh, safe on color-treated hair. Totally enjoying. This is one you've seen a lot. It's a favorite product of mine. It's the, again, by Alterna. It's the CC Cream from their Caviar line, 10 in 1. I do, it's a great styling cream. This was the Whey um, Mask Treatment. A very nice, deep condition. You see this pretty much every summer. This or its sister, the original. It is the Surf Spray by Bumble and Bumble. This one is the Surf Infusion. So it's the one with a bit of oil in it so that your finish is shinier. So the original surf spray or salt spray, it gives you the nice waves, but it leaves a matte finish where this one gives you the waves, but it leaves a bit of a shinier finish. So depending on what you prefer, you pick one or the other. It is still bubble and bubble surf spray, still my favorite. I have picked up the way one, haven't tried it yet. I know everybody's talking about it now, but this was the original and I still love it. Nice product by Redken. You know, I don't buy a lot of Redken, but every now and then I'm like, oh yeah, I used to live by Redken. Uh, Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner in the gold bottles. Oh my God, I love that stuff. Um, and the salon I went to in Halifax a long, long time ago with uh, when Heather Dello was my stylist, used Redken, and I loved all kinds of products. And this one's called NBD, No Blow Dry. And it's just one of those great creams that you put in when you're going to let your hair air dry and it controls the frizz and gives you a real nice finish. Redken also much more affordable than a lot of the hairlines I use now. Two packages of lashes to show you. I know someone said, oh, there's a number on the end. I guess there is a number on the end. So thank you for telling me that. This is 35. That is the lash that I prefer by MAC. Not wearing them today, but have bought them in bulk. Really enjoy them. And this is the Sephora version, Fusion Luke's Fall Lash. Now, <laughs> I'll say this. They're a really nice lash. I would recommend it. But Sephora, do you really need to put, like, this is a huge, hard plastic case for one pair of lashes. I feel like we don't need to put that much crap in the landfill. Keep the great quality lash, put it in a more environmentally friendly case. Pretty please. You know, I love this one, the Body Shop Foot Cream. It's the uh, Peppermint Intensive Foot Rescue, so the cream in the pot, as opposed to the bottle. Loved it. But was on vacation and found myself without foot or hand cream. Like we were on the road for a couple of days and I ran into shoppers and got this little sample kit of the J.R. Watkins. And this was a little pot of the hand cream and boy, 
I really enjoyed that. Speaking of Sephora's clean thing, um, this is actually called Green Clean. It's by Pharmacy, which is a brand I love, and it's their Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. It was a very nice cleansing balm, but again, um, I love Emma Hardy. I really love Eve Loam. I love Liz Earle. I love the Clinique um, cleansing balm. I love the Body Shop cleansing balm. When there's that many cleansing balms like on the top of the list for me, you got to be really good to get in regular rotation. And this for me just isn't in regular rotation. Did it take all the makeup off? Yes. But in terms of smell, feel, all of that, just not up there in my favorites. So I won't buy it again. This you will see again, however, this line in general is one of my favorite lines. It's the Nukes line. I love all their products. This is the Rev de Miel Hand and Nail Cream. It's just a beautiful product. I love their lip balm, their body oil, you name it. This is a great brand. Now I've got a bunch of packaging here I'm going to zip through. First off is the Clinique Pep Start Lip Balm. I love that Clinique Pep Start uh, line and this lip balm was no exception. I highly recommend this one. Now, the masks. This is a Sephora overnight mask. You've seen these before. This is the uh, brightening one in the lovely pink box. I've used them a million times. I'll use them again. This is the wrapper from an Atelier soap that Denise used. Um, it's in the Pomelo Paradise, which I love. Two of the Bosha eye masks, great eye masks. Egg cream mask by Too Cool for School, lovely. I'm going to give you a caveat. Since I have been sent that bag of Asian face masks, it's hard for me to enjoy the everyday face masks anymore because the Asian ones are amazing. Face wipes, I told you before, once I get to the end of these, I'm not buying any more face wipes, but I still have one or two packages left. This was in the Rose Cleansing formula by Sephora. All right. Satsuma soap from the body shop. I love. Vanilla brulee, which was a Christmas special soap from the body shop. Amazing. A package of Sephora cotton pads. Can't remember why I picked those up, but because you know I love the Shiseidos, but I needed cotton pads at one point, and this is what's what, what was available. Don't buy this. This is a waste of money. This is the Life Moisturizing Facial Sheet Mask. It's really, really bad. Again, fun. Fun to watch it bubble. It's, uh, it's, I think it's Life Brand. I can't even tell. It is like a bubbling, cleansing, charcoal, purifying mask. So you put it on and it's black and then it all bubbles up with white foam and you wash it off. and. Uh, Another one of those sake brightening eye things from Bosha, which I loved. This is a big hit with me. I, you'll continue to see these. These are the Sephora hair masks. This particular one was in Shea. Uh, you put them on before bed. You put the little uh, disposable shower cap that comes with it. You sleep, get up, wash your hair. Super soft. Another one that I love. These are two of the Sephora hand masks. A little pomegranate eye mask, which was nice by Sephora. Love these. These are the well-kept wipes for my, uh, I use them on my phone, my computer, my eyeglasses, and they come in all different patterns and I pick them up at Sephora and I just love them. The Origins Fusion uh, Rose Mask. This, you know what's funny is I had just got done saying how this was my new favorite mask. It's the uh, Coconut Ceramide Mask by Too Cool For School. Got it at Sephora. I was saying these, this is my new favorite one. Once I'm done my sash, I'm only going to buy these. Then lovely viewers sent me the big bag of masks to try from Asia, which I totally loved. And then I was looking at the back of this and it's all Asian writing. So I was like, oh, this one I think is from Asia too, which is maybe why I love it so much. They're just, at, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different quality. Amazing. Another one of the hair masks. This one is in acai. And there's one of those lovely Asian masks that she sent me. I can't even tell you what it is because all the writing is in uh, a different language. But I think it's called Lerbo Flor. 
and it's bunches of grapes on the front. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of English there. Grape anti-aging hydro mask. Oh, I can't thank you enough for sending me these. I've tried two so far. The other one isn't in here, but it will be in the next empties. I am so loving these. This was very weird. <laughs> Denise is like, oh boy. This is the Bosha Baby Soft Foot Peel. I had to try it just once, okay? Um, I get a pedicure every four weeks. My feet are my favorite part of my body. I know I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you have a foot fetish, I have some sexy ass feet and they are in fine shape. In fact, my esthetician wasn't around for a bit and I had to go see someone else and uh, the woman said, oh, um, Lisa told me that I'm about to see some very beautiful feet that don't require very much work and I was like, <laughs> because my feet are great. So I was like, I don't know that this will actually work because I keep my feet in good shape. The idea is you put these on, they're the little booties, but it's not just to moisturize, it's technically to peel. You put them on for 45 minutes. I will say this, the, the foot thing itself, it doesn't have a tab to secure it. I put washi tape to try to keep it closed. I put my feet up on the couch, the serum was pouring out of it. It was like messy and not easy to use. And then the idea is after a few days, your feet are supposed to peel. So one day went by, two days, three days, four days, five days, nothing was happening. Day six, my feet started to peel. Oh my God. I'm a person who likes to pick. This was like the most disgusting thing you have ever seen. We had to clean the couch. There was like bits of skin all over the carpet, bits of skin in our bed, bits of skin on the couch. Uh, me who loves my feet and in the summer I'm always showing them off in sandals. I had to like hide my feet in shoes because it looked like I had some kind of disease. Did it leave nice soft skin underneath? Yes. Would I ever do it again? No. And I've just got a handful more things for this video and the next one, will, the rest of it will be in my September empties. Uh, this I love. It is the Body Shop Coconut Hand Cream. All the Body Shop hand creams are great. This one is really moisturizing. This you've seen a number of times, and as you can see, I put it through my tube wrangler. Um, it's the Absinthe hand cream, so it's not super thick. It's not going to leave like a thick layer of, of moisture. If your hands are super dry, it's not Fisherman's Friend, it's not that. But it, it is moisturizing. I use it mostly in the summer because it's not too heavy. I put it on before bed. But what's really cool about it is it's an anti-odor hand cream. And you might be thinking, well, what's the point of that? Well, let me give you the scenario. You're preparing supper. You're having a romantic night. You cut a bunch of onions. Okay, you cut a bunch of onions. That smell is on your hands. You don't want to be then making out later and mm, your sweet one goes, oh, nice, your hands smell like onions. This, you, because even after you wash your hands with certain smelly things, it's hard to get the smell off. This leaves your hands not smelling perfumey. It's just like refreshed and it counterbalances any nasty smells on your hands. I use it every summer. I absolutely love it. I used another one of those night masks by Sephora. The packaging is destroyed. Oh, it's the um, Algae one, which is for... Purifying and detoxifying is what this one is for. And the final product in today's video, you saw one before. Oh my God, these are so awesome. It's the Shaken Shot by Dr. Jart. I got a pack of four of them. They're all different colors and different formulations. They have the baby face on top. You open it, you get this little spatula. There are two envelopes of products inside. You squirt them both in here. Put the lid back on, put your finger over the mouth, shake it really hard, and you can feel it. It's, it goes from a liquid to like you can feel it like becoming like this weird hardened formula sort of. And then you have two minutes to quickly get it on your face. And when it dries, as it's working, you leave it on for like 15 or 20 minutes. It's it's a it's a peel-off mask, but not like a typical peel-off mask. It's not stuck to your face. As it works, it sort of starts to pull away from your face a bit. And when you peel it off, it's just this weird gel texture. So cool. And it really does leave a noticeable difference in your skin. 
This particular one was brightening. Um, and as I say, there's four of them. I have two left from that kit. Try them out. That Sephora VIB sale is on right now. Try these. You'll love them. And that brings me to the end of this particular empties. Again, you'll get another one early in September because I still have a bag and a half of stuff to go through. Give me a thumbs up to let me know you're still enjoying the empties. Next up will be my eyeshadow declutter. Wow, the declutters are going so well. All the makeup I decluttered sold. You bought it up very quickly. I'm going to do the eyeshadow declutters in probably two or three stages. The first one is going to be large palettes. Now, I had such a massive collection of large palettes and I kind of kicked myself because I just, for free, gave probably, I want to say 30 large palettes away. But I do have some left. We're going to go through those and uh, see what ones I'm going to keep and what ones I'm going to move on. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.